bloating, diarrhea, itchy skin, nausea, and even a chest pain. Yes, all this can be due to the gallbladder. In this video, you will know how your gallbladder is asking for help. And at the end, I will show you a forgotten way to detect gallbladder problems, which you can do at home. Removal of the gallbladder is one of the most common abdominal surgeries. Even the appendix is removed less frequently than the gallbladder. And gallstones are one of the most common diseases of the internal organs. It affects an estimated 480 million people. Every tenth person who died from other causes was found to have gallstones at autopsy. Very often the gallbladder may not give any signals of distress, not cause pain, and simply one day become overfilled with stones. In this case there is nothing left to do but remove the gallbladder. Yes, you can live without it. But there are no unnecessary organs in the body. And often after the gallbladder is removed, a person may begin to have even more problems with digestion. So how can you understand, based on direct and indirect signs, that the gallbladder is not working as it should? The gallbladder is a container for collecting bile, which is produced in the liver and flows from there through the hepatic ducts. In the gallbladder, bile matures, concentrates, excess water is removed from it, and the finished bile waits for the moment, namely waits for fat. If fatty food gets into the intestines, the intestines say to the gallbladder, contract my friend, give us some bile. We have fat in the food. It contracts and the bile goes through the ducts, like through pipes into the intestine. The first sign that something is wrong is pain. If the bile is too dense, the bile ducts or gallbladder itself are inflamed, or the bile ducts are in spasm and are not allowing bile to pass through, you will likely feel pain. The pain will most often be uh, in the abdomen, on the right side, under the ribs. But it can radiate to, to the lower back, to the right shoulder blade and right arm. Biliary colic is most often an acute, sharp pain, and it shows itself in attacks several times. But sometimes it can be a nagging pain, most often also in attacks. The pain will occur approximately an hour to an hour and a half after eating and will get stronger in response to fatty, smoked or spicy food. But many people do not feel any pain. In this case, you need to pay attention to other signs and look into your toilet. Bile has several functions. First, it helps digest fats. It does not break them down itself. Bile does not contain any enzymes for this, but it works as a surfactant. If you drop bile into a greasy plate, it will work as a dishwashing gel. It will break the fat into pieces. It acts in the same way in the gut, breaks the fat droplet into many small ones, and enzymes can then digest such a fat. If there is no bile, fat is not digested. Undigested fat goes to the colon and wreaks havoc there. It irritates the colon's wall, makes it more permeable for bacteria and their toxins. This causes diarrhea and fatty, sticky stool, uh, which very difficult to flush down the toilet. And even drops of fat can float on the surface of the water. Many people think that if you suddenly want to go to the toilet after eating, it's a sign of good digestion and bile secretion. But it's possible that bile is not secreted and because of this you urgently need to run to the toilet. In general, if you often have a very acute urge to go to the toilet, like if I don't get there right now, I'll need new pants. This is not a sign of excellent digestion. It shouldn't be this way. This is a reason to reconsider your diet, observe what food gives you such a reaction and go to a gastroenterologist. Constipation may also occur due to the lack of bile release, because the contraction of the gallbladder and the bile itself stimulate gut movement. No bile, gut motility becomes worse. So, both constipation and diarrhea may be signs of gallbladder problems. In addition to its digestive function, bile is a way to get rid of some unnecessary substances, a way to throw them out 
of the body with feces. One of these substances is hemoglobin. This is a protein in the blood that helps it carry oxygen and makes it red. When red blood cells become very old and they go on the last journey to the liver, the liver takes them apart and dumps the old hemoglobin into bile, but before it turns it into bilirubin. Hemoglobin is very toxic and the liver neutralizes it, turning it into less toxic bilirubin. But it's still toxic and needs to be thrown out anyway. When the bile comes out, this zombie hemoglobin also goes away with it. If the hemoglobin was red, then this dead hemoglobin turned yellow-brown. This is what gives the stool its color. If the stool suddenly turns light yellow or even whitish, this means that bile cannot go out. Old toxic hemoglobin is still in your body and you should see a doctor as soon as possible. If the bile ducts are blocked or the gallbladder fails to contract, bilirubin accumulates in the blood. Some of it may go out with the urine, causing the urine to turn from dark yellow to brown or even black. That's another dangerous sign. Fortunately, there are many good signs in our lives too. If this video is useful to you, understandable and interesting, this is a sure sign to subscribe to my channel. Here I explain medicine and physiology in simple words, so you can use it in your life to be healthy and happy. If the bile is not excreted, for example, the duct is clogged with stones, the bile components accumulate in the skin and cause itching, especially strong at the evenings, at night and after a warm shower. Of course, there can be many reasons for itching, but if the right side hurts, the stool is not regular or has a strange color and the skin itches, the likelihood that the blame is on the gallbladder. Bilirubin can color the skin and whites of the eyes yellowish, but this more often happens with liver damage. In general, take note, if something in your body suddenly changes color, be it feces, urine, skin, tongue, this can be a dangerous sign. The exception is if you ate something very pigmented. From a large amount of beetroot, the feces will be reddish. From activated carbon, black. From wine and some berries, the tongue can turn purple and the stool can be green. But if you haven't eaten anything like that, but the color has changed, it's better to ask your doctor what the problem it might be. Nausea, low blood pressure, dizziness, chest pain. The inflamed gallbladder activates the vagus nerve that controls heart rhythm. And it causes a decrease in blood pressure, a change in heart rate and cold sweat. The pressure drops, the person feels sick, dizzy, and the heart beats so quickly as if you are afraid of something. Or on the contrary, too slowly. It can feel a lot like a panic attack. Sometimes the pain radiates behind the sternum, which feels like an attack of angina. While the problems may not be in the heart at all, but in the gallbladder. Often this uh, condition can be caused by long breaks in eating. Bile accumulates, the gallbladder overflows, but since there is no food, it does not contract and does not release bile. In children, this condition can cause severe vomiting. If from time to time you experience such uh, strange symptoms on the background of long breaks in nutrition, or eating dry food, or fast food, or sweets, this is the reason to have your gallbladder checked. It does not like long breaks in eating. Hypervitaminosis of A, D, E, K vitamins. The liver and gallbladder are involved in digestion of fat-soluble vitamins. If there is little bile, then not only the fat itself is poorly absorbed, but also vitamins A, D, E and K that normally are dissolved in fats. Their deficiency causes problems with immunity, bones, skin, blood, and mucous membranes. If you eat a variety diet, but you often have low levels of these vitamins, perhaps the problem is in the gallbladder and liver. And finally, as I promised, an interesting way to find out that you have some problems with the gallbladder. This diagnostic method is very old, and of course it's not very 
accurate. Ultrasound, blood tests and a doctor's examination are obviously more accurate. But perhaps it will be useful to you as additional information. There are certain areas on our skin that during our embryonic development before birth grew parallelly with a certain area of the spinal cord and the certain internal organs. When the embryo is small, these tissues are located very close. As the body grows, they spread out, but some connection remains. For example, a sick heart often hurts not in the chest, but radiates to the left arm and shoulder. You know it. Pain in the uterus can be felt as pain on the inner thigh and shin, and pain from the liver and gallbladder is localized on the right side of the abdomen, on the right arm and right shoulder blade. There may be no pain, but the truth can be revealed by the warm water. If you go to the shower and pour warm water over your entire abdomen, if your gallbladder is sick, the skin on the right side of the abdomen will turn red, and this redness will remain for some time. The skin may even become inflamed and itchy in this area. The upper part of the right shoulder may also turn red. This is also a projection of gallbladder and liver. For some people, such connections are stronger, for others, weaker. But look at yourself after a shower and notice if any red spots appear on the skin in specific places. This is additional information that you can tell your doctor and it may be very useful for diagnosis. If you have problems with the gallbladder, write in the comments what signs you have and how you know that your gallbladder is asking for help. Sometimes it's very important to recognize the problem as early as possible. To seek help in time, you just have to know where to look. Your knowledge and observation can save your health, can save your money. So know yourself better and I will help you with this. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next videos.